Welcome to Happy Today podcast. This is a podcast for those who want to improve service experience of internal services. If you use ServiceNow or other enterprise service management system, then this is for you. All right, welcome to episode 5 of Happy Today podcast. Today's topic is transparency of experience data. And uh, this is what we mean is that how to get away from the gut feeling and actually start showing the numbers and transparency with, with the employees, with the partners, with your vendors and the, and the service desk. So everybody agreeing on what the level should be. So Sami, how, how do you see the topic? I think it's, it's kind of, you all know the kind of the metaphor of, of broken phone reaction. And I think in many cases, that is still the situation. If you, if you are like delivering service now for some company, the end users of that company are really far from what you do and how you get the briefing, what you should be doing. And that's kind of the only one example. And in many cases, like the whole service desk, in a way, the people who are making decisions in service desk are really far from the real discussion and real connection to the end users. But all these partners like ITSM tool provider, service owners, service desk teams, agents, everybody should understand the value and the value meaning the end users experience and how much and how efficient the services are for them. So we really think that this transparency between all partners is really, really key. Uh, for the traditional SLAs, sometimes they are kind of a, trying to measure, and I think they are done to measure the first line of service desk. And that's kind of the, the culture in service desk and the whole service management is like, this is the first line thing. It is not. True, true. And, and that's what we try to break. And why for us transparency is really, really key in all this, what we do. It's not enough. You have data and you have, you measure things, but to make it visible for everybody that they can kind of link their own decision making to this, then you start to get scores. Yeah, I think uh, even if, if you're measuring it, then you know what the trend is. But but if it stays as a KPI in one monthly meeting and nobody knows what it is and then then you kind of get kind of missing the whole point of of what you can do with this how how to make it like a strategic thing that user experience is is what we are driving for yeah i think one uh, in the episode one we were talking about the the interviews that i did in the beginning of this company yeah. and one of those interviews was a cio of one dairy company and this CEO said to me that what he's now getting from their current provider is that he's getting an Excel report like two months after things happened. And he said that I don't, I can't use that for everything. And we talked about more about this event. He said that his problem is that he is very typically in the lunch restaurant, yeah. having a lunch with the business owners of the company. And if somebody says to him that the service is a can trap, he can just say that I will look into it. He cannot defend himself because he doesn't know what really is the situation now. So transparency and continuous transparency. So what this guy asked me to do is to please, when you are doing the product, maybe do it in a way that I will also have a mobile application and I can check under the table <laughs> that what is the current situation exactly now. So I can defend my team and they'll, okay, I will look into it, but in overall, we are doing quite well even today, or if we are not, I really know that now I have to react. Yeah, I had the same story from this, this uh, another CIO and there was a new CEO in the company and they had like this kickoff meeting and uh, in the break, uh, the CIO was uh, just showing the, the CEO that, hey, look, I have this app. This is how we, how we measure the employee experience. And after the break, the CEO was like, this is actually what we want all of us to do, like the IT is doing today. So it is really, really powerful when you have it in numbers, you have it transparently and you have it in real time all, all the time. Like I think this whole monthly reporting thing is really dead because people don't really trust it. Um, I used to work for, with, a, with an uh, MSP as well and uh, automating reports was impossible because there were people who wanted to touch it manually before it goes to the customer. Yeah, yeah. Just to try to make the numbers look better or, or something like that. I, I really don't understand the, the point. But there was a lot of effort on that. And when all this effort, if you just show it transparently for the customer, everybody knows that, okay, now these are the numbers. You are being transparent with me. 
And now what we do together to actually make improvements is, is the whole point of, of, of all these exercises that we are doing. Yeah. I would say there is kind of a three words that are really linked to each other. First, there is transparency. Yes. Then there is trust. Yes. And then there is focus. Mm. You cannot go directly to focus because then it's if you try to do it kind of I think, I think, I think as you started this podcast, it's always like how somebody's thinking that services should be doing. Yeah. I even had a very weird discussion, I, I have to tell this, uh, with one MSP. Typically MSPs are really good in this thinking. They really are driving things to this direction. But there was one guy who said to me that I don't want to show the data to the customer if it's not aligned with our strategy. <laughs> and that was for me like really red carpet. It, it, it like, then you should change your strategy, not to hide the results, because then you are definitely doing wrong, something yeah. wrong. If And because now, again, end users are not lying. They are just telling the truth, how they felt. And if you have enough of that feedback, you can trust it and then do common decisions. And that's the kind of the core here. So being transparent openly with all partners, getting them involved, getting them to kind of a, use this data to really think about what should be done to get your end users more happy. So sharing this data as a customer will help you to, to direct your partners to right directions. There was one of our customers, CIO level guy who started a new company, he had been using our product already in, in the earlier company. Yeah. And what he did in the new company, he made sure that he has this data when he started. And when he started, he went to meet all the partners one by one and teams, starting each every of those meetings, depend, not depending on what the company was doing for them. It was application or services, yeah, whatever. Yeah, he started with showing data. Yeah, yeah. He had this big know. screen on yeah. his on his uh, room. Just when the when the service owner comes in, first asking, "So, how is your service doing?" Oh, you don't know. Well, let's look at the screen. Yeah. And you know, with that kind of approach, everybody starts looking at the screen. And the screen was then actually next to the coffee machine at the IT department in in a few weeks after that. Yeah. So making sure that everybody's very transparent. And we have uh, another cust- uh, some other customer cases as well, like uh, where you might even have an outsourced vendor and they might be you know, located in, uh, in an offshore country, but the guys make sure that, hey, they actually have the screen there and they will follow it up um, because it, it, it's just going to the agent level also with the transparency, not just on the C level and with the partners, but actually for the people who, who do the work. Um, it allows them to actually uh, target the small things that make huge differences. They allow them to, you know, you empower the agents to say that, hey, this is actually the reason why we are getting bad, bad uh, customer experience or bad employee experience. Yeah, for okay. There is a kind of a really easy, it's not a bad thing if the agent hears that you are talking too fast or you are not, you are talking with too much technical terms. Yes. Then I can adjust my own way of working. Hiding that would not help anybody to change or, or get better in what they do. Yeah, and I think it's like we, we talked in one episode that the employees already have that experience. It's just that are you exposing it? Are you showing it open to everybody so that everybody knows what that experience is? That's the only way to improve anything. If you just keep it there and you just, you know, it's kind of like putting your head to the bush and, and now I'm, I'm hiding away from it. It's, it. It doesn't really help anything. Yeah. And I think the main point with this transparency is, yes, again, those three words, transparency equals trust equals focus. But also I think the, the whole thing, what is, what is the core here is that that is a cultural change for many organizations to really focus the development on, on, on this issue, not, yeah. not how efficient IT in, internally is. So I think that's kind of the, the, what you should do yeah. in, 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 in your service, that if you are a provider, if you are a customer, just openly start to discuss these issues, don't try to hide them and have it continuously on the table, not not like yeah. two months later. As, as do you remember this one customer who, when, when we were doing the rollout, they wanted to do all these kind of uh, access control things on their service now environment. And then yeah. when they went to production, something went wrong and suddenly everybody was able to see everything. And we were f- first we were kind of like, oh no, now what is the customer going to say? And they were just like, oh, actually, this is how we want it. Yeah, I so remember. so they first spent like a lot of time trying to figure out who can see what, and then with human mistake, everybody saw everything, and they were like really happy. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I think that, but the kind of the 
what we have seen in, in really, really transparent is that one of our customers already did announce this service, this continuous measurement analytic tool that we are having. Yeah. That you can, and that the, I think this company has about 6,000 end users. Yeah. They sent an email or uh, published a news in the internet that everybody can go here and check the results continuously. Yeah. I haven't checked how many people there are, True. but True. that just shows the kind of the ultimate transparency yeah. that everybody can really see that how how things are in IT and what are the yeah. areas with what might need some development yeah. or so. Yeah. So transparency, like you said, means focus. It means a way to everybody agree. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think it's it's now t- time for you, the listener, to actually talk with your customer, talk with your, your provider and say that, hey, what if we would actually just everybody see the same numbers all the time and make focused decision based on the experience date. So everybody would be happier. <laughs> I think they would. I think they would. But yeah, I think uh, that's the topic of today. And, uh, you know, I, I also uh, challenge you to challenge us. If you feel that what we were talking today is somehow wrong, you can find our, our contact information, Sami and myself, at, at happysignals.com. So come there, you know, shoot us an email. Or uh, book re- a meeting. Yeah, or respond to the, to the YouTube uh, video or whatever way, way you want to do it. And uh, we're happy to, you know, be proven wrong. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. Take care.